What's up, world? It's your boss, International Zoe. Sunday Sermon. I'm going to start, uh, I think, responding to or like making how, you know how they had that Jimmy Kimmel show. They had like the bad, the worst things, comments that people make about celebrities. I'm going to do something like that when it comes to some of the comments I get on videos. Um, and this Sunday Sermon is the art of minding your own business now don't get me wrong this don't have nothing to do with snitching or you know there's times that you need to step in and help out but let me give you an example of what happened and what i'm referring to okay this brother wanna be mystic i assume he's a brother but okay here's a person who i guess watches the channel or he saw the video so he says, so oh, what are your thoughts on the international brick situation? How are passport bros going to afford travel when US dollar collapse, right? Now I later did answer this brother's question. And uh, first I said, I, I, I'm not a passport bro. And the world doesn't stop. We adapt and move on. And four or five people agreed that. The brother wanna be mystics responded okay i apologize i shouldn't have said passport bro maybe instead world travelers which is i get adapted uh i get adapting and moving on but this is extremely serious international situation i just thought you might be willing to share your insight on what the currencies we what currencies we should be looking to invest in to survive out there out here would you recommend ever defecting outright to another country and i did um respond to him and I'll, I'll read that later i did respond to him but here's a brother real talk i think before i even responded he says bro if you're black and dropping videos about traveling you're considered a passport bro whether you think so or not this is real talk, right? I said, imagine someone telling you what you are. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? So every black man that travels is a passport bro, right? Then please tell me what you thought I was five years ago when I started traveling, making videos. Same thing, about five likes. Real talk response. I'm not telling you what I think. I'm telling you what the world thinks and looks at you as. If I start making videos tomorrow, they will look at me the same way. Then he says, and yeah, basically that's what's coming. That's that it, basically that's what it's coming to. That every black man traveling will be looked at as a passport bro, not a good thing. Okay, I said, yes. And if you don't defend yourself, they will keep calling you what they want. That's why I'm not a passport bro. If, if the world calls you a ninja, are you going to accept that as well? That's my response. Then he responded again. I didn't say anything about accepting. That's your words. I'm telling you what the overall perception is. You put that jacket on yourself anyway when you hopped on YouTube. That's my whole point. Why all of a sudden y'all don't want to wear, wear it no more? Attention is what you wanted, right? And, you know, I could go on and on, but basically I said, let me break it down, brother. Like this. One brother watches a video and refers to me as a passport bro. I respond in a polite way, but seriously, I'm not a passport brother. That person responds, apologizes because he's a mature person and he respects that I don't consider myself a passport bro. As an example, that's the equivalent to somebody coming up to you saying, yo, what's good my ninja? And you saying, I don't wanna be called a ninja. Any respectable person would say my apologies. Even if they meant it in a, as a term of endearment, out of respect, if you don't want to be called, referred to as a ninja, 
you say, I respect that. And then I said, now this is you. You're that dude on the sideline, sidebar and saying, why you don't want to be called a ninja? It's a term of endearment. If you're black and you're from the hood, then everybody's going to look at you as a ninja. So you might as well embrace it. Now, you should have and could have just mind your business because it didn't have anything to do with you. Hence, the ninja on the side minding other people's business. So that was my response to him. And that's pure example of the art of minding your own business. He didn't have to even comment, and he went on and on and on. And I got time. I'm, I'm chilling. I'm, I'm, I'm in Vietnam. I'm, I'm on the beach. But what I did uh, respond to the the brother, I said, the 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 initial question was, what 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 do you suggest in regards to the dollar change possibly changing and the brick changing everything? Right? I said I wouldn't suggest something so life changing like like that, but I would say, having the experience from traveling has opened my eyes to that option and how, I might, how it might be accomplished. I don't have a fear of moving to another country knowing I, I have already thought about how I could make that happen and where if I decided to do that. Basically, I'm just saying, the good thing happened in traveling in regards to, he said, possibly defecting from the US is that I've been to enough countries to have an idea of where I might want to go and how I might sustain a livelihood in another country, how I might get a visa, a long-term visa, how I might get citizenship. All these things have been looked into already and I just have some knowledge of it by traveling to these places. Okay, so Sunday Sermon, The Art of minding your own business. <laughs> Peace and love, International Zell. Subscribe, snitches! <laughs>